Commentator of the Year at the FSF 2017 Awards goes to Martin Tyler. Martin, I was going to say, can you believe it? But it's the fifth year in a row you've won it. No, it's very, um, it's a great honour, to be honest with you. Uh, it's um, not something that you ever take for granted. Uh, it's a thrill, personally, because the supporters have voted for it. And uh, um, they're the people that matter most of all. Um, and if I'm not irritating them too much, <laughs> uh, then obviously uh, it, it's working a little bit. But uh, it's, it's been a long career. And um, we've been paying tribute, quite rightly, to John Motson tonight, who is retiring. But uh, unless somebody knows otherwise, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and, and was John an influence on your career? Yeah, he was. Um, I got to know him. We actually had a commentator's football team back in the early 1970s. In fact, we played a lot through the 70s and 80s and that until, until the Premier League started. Um, and we couldn't play on Sundays anymore. So, uh, yeah, he, he sent me a... Um, I was got a bit of a laugh in there because it was a telegram. Not many people know what telegrams are these days. He sent me a telegram before my very first commentary in 1974 saying, talk little, but say a lot. Mm. And that was very wise advice. Indeed. And the style of commentary has changed over the years, of yeah. course. And, um, you know, the great Barry Davis uh, often talks about the conversational style of commentary mm. uh, these days. And he's not a particular fan of it, you know. But uh, with your career, you know, great longevity, you must have seen uh, a lot of changes. And how have you uh, adapted, I if you have adapted? Much. I, I think fundamentally I do the same things, which is identify the players, give a bit of information. That's the skill, really, to try and get the information at the right time. You're sometimes bursting to say something and the match is going on and you, you interrupt it, really. And I've tried over the years to be better at that, but it's not an exact science. And to some extent, you interpret the game as well. But obviously, um, when you were doing it as one voice, you did all the interpretation. But now we have some wonderful experts alongside us. and. Uh, People like um, to work with Gary Neville and Jamie Carrigan, the, the younger generation, it keeps me on my toes, that's for sure. And is there a particular line maybe people shout at you in the street or something like that, th th of your I commentary get, I line? Get a, at Manchester City, I get a fair Aguero <laughs> bit, but um, no, not really. I, I, the one thing I'm always happy to do is, is to talk to the, the fans. And as as I'm, I came back from Manchester City v West Ham on the train yesterday with some West Ham sports, we had a great journey back, actually, despite the fact that they'd lost. They played quite well. Um, and if I wasn't doing what I do, I would be w doing the same as them. I would be traveling around watching my team's Woking well, in, the, uh, in the National League. And I followed them for since I was eight years old. So, uh, and... Uh, I feel the same thing in my heart about winning and losing as everybody does, you know. As a commentator, you obviously try and tread that line between the two and try and see both sides of, uh, of every match. Martin Tyler, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Nice to talk Pleasure. To you.